Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're discussing a topic that affects all of us, banking. Have you ever wondered how banks make money? Well, you're in the right place because that's exactly what we're going to be exploring in today's video. But first, if you enjoy this video and in this kind of content, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into it. To understand how banks make money, we need to start at the very beginning with the basics of banking. At its core, a bank is a financial institution that provides various services to its customers. These services include savings accounts, loans, credit cards, and more. But how do they turn these services into profits? Let's find out. The primary way banks make money is through interest rates. When you deposit money into your savings account, the bank pays you interest on your balance. Conversely, when you take out a loan, you pay interest to the bank. This interest rate spread is where banks start generating revenue. Interest rates are a fundamental concept in the banking world. They determine how much you earn on your savings and how much you pay on loans. Banks set these rates based on a variety of factors, including the Federal Reserve's policies, market conditions, and their own business strategies. Here's a simple example to illustrate how interest rates work. Imagine you deposit $1,000 into your savings account with a 2% annual interest rate. At the end of the year, the bank will pay you $20 in interest. On the other hand, when the bank lends that $1,000 to someone else at a 5% interest rate, they earn $50 in interest. The $30 difference between what they pay you and what they earn is the bank's profit. But interest rates aren't the only way banks make money. They also charge various fees and penalties. These fees can include account maintenance fees, overdraft fees, and ATM withdrawal fees. These fees may seem small, but when you consider the millions of customers the banks have, they add up to a substantial revenue. Another significant source of income for banks is through their investment services. Banks often manage investment portfolios for their clients. They may invest in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and other financial instruments on behalf of their customers. The bank charges fees for these services and may also earn a percentage of the profits generated from investments. Investment services provide by, provided by banks can be an attractive option for individuals who want professional management of their investments. However, it's crucial to understand the fees associated with these services and compare them to other investment options. Mortgage lending is a crucial part of a bank's revenue stream. When you take out a mortgage to buy a home, the bank earns money through the interest you pay on the loan. Mortgages can span decades, and the interest accrued over that time can be substantial for the bank. Beyond the main sources I've mentioned, banks also make money through other avenues. They may engage in proprietary trading, where they invest their own money in financial markets. Additionally, some banks offer insurance services and charge premiums for coverage. Banks diversify their revenue streams to reduce risks and ensure profitability in various economic conditions. As banks expand their services, they often enter into partnerships with other businesses. For example, many banks have partnerships with retailers to offer co-branded credit cards. When you use these cards, the bank earns a percentage of each transaction, and this can be a significant source of revenue. Furthermore, some banks generate income through their international operations. They provide services such as foreign exchange, trade finance, and international wire transfers. These services often come with fees and exchange rate spreads contributing to the bank's profitability. In recent years, digital banking has also opened up new opportunities for banks to make money. Online banks have lower overhead costs than traditional brick and mortar institutions. As a result, they can offer competitive interest rates on savings accounts while still earning a profit. Lastly, let's not forget about the power of data. Banks collect vast amounts of data about their customers' financial habits and behaviors. They can use this data to offer personalized financial products and services, which can lead to increased customer engagement and, ultimately, more revenue. Banks often provide financial advisory services, helping clients plan for their futures. They offer advice on investment strategies, retirement planning, and wealth management. While these services are often fee-based, they can provide a valuable source of income for banks. In addition to advising individuals, banks also serve the needs of businesses. They offer a range of financial products and services tailored to the unique requirements of businesses, such as business loans, lines of credit, and cash management services. These services generate fees and interest income for the bank. Another income source for bank, banks is their involvement in government and municipal bonds. Banks often underwrite and facilitate the sale of these bonds. They earn fees and commissions for their services, making it another way they generate revenue. Some banks even offer estate planning and trust services. They act as trustees, executors, and administrators of trusts and estates, charging fees for their fiduciary roles. This can be a lucrative area for banks, especially for clients with significant assets and complex financial situations. As we've seen, banks have a multitude of revenue streams, making them highly adaptable to changes in the economic landscape. 
whether through traditional banking services, investments, partnerships, international operations, digital innovations, data utilization, financial advisory, business services, government bonds, or trust services, banks have a diverse toolbox for generating income. So there you have it. Banks make money through a combination of interest rates, fees, investment services, mortgage lending, partnerships, international operations, digital banking, data-driven strategies, financial advisory, business services, government bonds, and trust services. The next time you visit your bank or use their services, you'll have a better understanding of how they generate their profits, mostly through fees. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and we will see you in the next one.